Hey everyone, um, today I'm just testing out a mouse trap that I saw online on YouTube. Uh, one of the things you have when you have chickens is you have mice and rats. So I'm just showing you guys what I made and uh, how I did it. It's a uh, pretty common, uh, um, what's it called? It's pretty common on YouTube to take a look and I'll show you guys kind of little changes that I made to it. So I'm just here at the chicken pen and I just made her right here and uh, as you can see all it is is a ramp, two ramps and I put a little, um, uh, what would it be, like a handle off of a pail. I straightened one out and put it through each side and then I got a peanut butter jar and put it halfway, drilled the holes like so, tie it down so that they can't kick off the ramp. And I didn't have any peanut butter left, so what I did was I got some honey and I put that on and then I put the grain that they're used to eating, the chicken grain, on the top. So I'm hoping they'll go sniffing for it in the middle of the night when they run out of grain. And uh, hopefully they'll go in here where there's water waiting for them and um, it basically drowns them. So it just basically swivels halfway and uh, it rolls pretty easy, right? So I'm hoping that that's enough to get them going and uh, at least try and get them in and get rid of a few of these freaking things because they get huge and they get really annoying. So. so if that honey doesn't stay on and that grain doesn't stay on, I will get some peanut butter and put that on. I know that was the standard... Um, the standard way to do it but uh i just didn't have any peanut butter today so there's a bird flapping inside one of our windows but uh i uh i hope that helps i hope it gets rid of it i'm just looking for a small jobs to do around the farm today only because the rain has been on and off all day so i've been trying to get things done inside working on the chainsaw a little bit um i was having an issue where it was popping off too much so the chain would try and pop off all the time. So I'm hoping I fixed that problem. Did a little research, saw what kind of works and what doesn't. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm kind of working on today. Um, just basically tr fixing up the trimmer so that all the trimmer lines in there. And um, yeah, not too, too much. I've got the pig pen pretty much done and I'll show you guys. So as you can see, um, it's pretty much scraped down. You can see where the line was. That's how much I put out. Um, I'm not too worried. We used to use concrete troughs, but behind that concrete trough is rotted with wood. Uh, the wood's all rotted back there. We used to use those metal ones and then just put a plug in them. I guess they were old sinks. I don't know what they were. But uh, I found myself something a little bit better. This is basically what I've kicked out to give you guys an idea of what we're working with here and uh, that wheelbarrow is just a standard wheelbarrow so it's a good amount of crap out and uh, I left some in like some of you guys suggested because you guys said that that they like digging in it so that's what I will do um one of the reasons I like that mouse trap over some of the others is it resets itself because what happens is, is the smart buggers figure out that if they can knock off the trap and flick it or kick it um, it'll set it off and then they can get the feed off and they don't have to worry and they can just eat off all the feed so that one as it rolls over it resets itself right as each one goes on it resets itself and uh, you can knock off multiple rats in a night which i like because the buggers started digging into my feed and uh i had to put an aluminum trough over i'll show you i had to put this aluminum trough over all my feed so that they didn't get to it and uh kind of gets annoying lifting that and unlifting it so if i can make this mouse trap thing work i've seen guys do it and they'll take off like 20 of the freaking things in the night so i'm hoping it works i'm hoping it does what it's supposed to and uh as i said it's been one of the it's been another great day here as you can see continuous on and off this morning i had hail the size of dimes hitting us that happened for about 20 minutes and then it stopped after the rain stopped and now I've got more cloud cover, cloud, uh, cloud cover coming in and uh, it's just uh, been non-stop. So I haven't, you just can't get anything done. The, the ground is so saturated. If I even put a tractor on the field, I'll, I'll just, I'll rut the living crap out of the fields. 
even if it dries for a day or so, it all rot the living crap out of it. I was working on the front field, uh, the front fence line, because I'm trying to get my electric in. So I'm trying to knock off any apple trees um, that are within what I would be a tr what I would consider a truck width between the fence line and uh, inside. I'm knocking that over. Within that, I'm trying to make that so it's clean, and then I can, if I ever have to run fence, I can. It's easy. And uh, it also keeps them from trying to search for apple trees and apple branches where they're dropping apples in the fall and trying to dig under fence. It makes it a lot easier too. So that's what I was doing, but it's been on and off raining. I've just been getting soaked. I've been getting caught every time. And I don't mind the rain so much as the thunder and lightning. I just don't want to get hit by that. And so I uh, drove the truck out. It was sunny for a good uh, Sunday. Sunday was really nice and uh, good so it was i was using that and i brought the truck out and uh it was a lot drier than this uh th don't get deceived here like i put it out in this it was a lot drier and i got tired of lugging equipment it through um lugging it all around with the chainsaw and everything else it's just you don't want to be carrying all that stuff so i was bringing it home and it's bumpy through here and i was just bringing the truck through quickly and uh, i guess i didn't speed up to enough and I have pretty aggressive tires on my truck and it sank and I had to pull it out so it uh, and it's not just regular dirt it's manure so I flinged crap all across my truck so when you're tired and you pretty much the day's over because you've broken things well that's kind of the way my days ended normally and you get your truck stuck in manure it really just adds a nice top to the day so i had to dig i just had to pull it out with the tractor there and uh luckily it's got front hooks and i just pulled it through the gateway there and uh that was it i'm looking at this weather forecast as you can see around me and it's not looking like i can cut hay till like the 5th of july and my hay was ready like two weeks ago so it's starting to go the yellow color which I don't like because it just doesn't produce the quality of hay that you want and it was the sad part is and the worst part is is if you got through and got through planting well me anyway I didn't have to plant you were pretty happy because I didn't really have to plant and it's been raining so much this year that I thought you know what we'll be all right we'll get through this little uh, little channel or this little passage of rain and uh, we'll be all right. Well, man, was I wrong because it hasn't stopped. And there's still guys who haven't gotten their planning in. So they're pretty much calling it kaputski on a lot of stuff. So I bet you the price of corn in my area anyway is going to be up this year. Because corn was supposed to get in. It never got in. Some of it's stunted because it's wet and it's just sat in water. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just been crazy. But what I'm going to do actually is while I'm here and showing you guys, I'm going to take you to the hay field and I'll show you guys the golden color that's starting to form, which I'm not so happy about. So you see how everything's starting to get that golden color on the top? It's not bad yet. It's just things are starting to go to seed and they're starting to go past what they used to look like, which is something like that, right? They just, uh, you're starting to get that golden across the top and that's not what you want. It's not bad. Like you can see there's still Timothy here. It's not horrible, but I try to shoot for perfection as much as the next guy. I just, for me, I try to get as much, like there's even, there's still flower in it. There's still clover in it, but some of it's high, right? Like I'm 5'10 and some of these heads are, I would say a good 5'9. They're at eye level here, this one right here. That's not the norm, but that's not to say that it isn't through the fields. It's at least high chest, minimum high chest on some areas. Sometimes it's taller than me. So you see this and you get all excited thinking it's gonna be a good freaking year. And then within, within I would say a week, it looks like we might, you'd be lucky if you get it off. But you look at, look at my finger just, that, that should not be that wet this time of year. It's just been, luckily, I'm, the clay it rolls right off because it compacts. 
which a lot of people wouldn't be so super excited about, but that means it's only in your low-lying lands, or your low-lying areas for me, that it is going to have those wet, wet spots. But it's still wet enough on the tractor. If it's 10,000 pounds, you add my mower, which has got to be a close to a, I think it's close to 3,000. It's freaking heavy. It, it's just a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight on, on the soil, so it's gonna dig and rut. And I'm across the field at least three times, minimum, with the rake and the baler. So it's, uh, it's gonna be a rough one here. That's my rambling on for the day and uh, what I'm facing here. I, I just, July 5th is where we're looking, like I might get something where I can actually start cutting, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. But that's not even, that's not even a stellar run. I'm talking three days. And three, uh, two of the three have at least a minimum of 20% chance of a little bit of rain. So, it is an ideal, I'll tell you that. But uh, from what I've noticed from my weather program anyway, if anybody's asking, it's Storm. You can download it on your phone. It's, uh, I have an iPhone, that's how I'm filming this. It's the best weather uh, app I've seen. Uh, they use it for storm chasers. And for me, I really like it. It shows me um, a very accurate picture. It shows you accurate, accurate on the precipitation amount. And the other thing is it shows you wind patterns. And uh, if you're where I am, where you're in between the lakes in Ontario, you sometimes are in the jet stream, sometimes you're in the knot. So the two wind patterns on the arrows will be two different colors. So it'll show you where the jet stream is and that's why we're having this wet weather here. We're right on it. So it's just been pounding the living crap out of us. And uh, yeah, I just, I find it really accurate. So Storm, um, I'll write it in the description. Um, it's just an app on your phone. I like it, it's free, which I really like. I don't like paying for anything, so. But thanks for watching guys. Feel free to comment, rate and subscribe as always. And uh, have fun out there, try and stay dry. And for all you guys that are complaining out, out west or out south that it's too dry, I'll gladly give you some of this rain. Take care.